Hey there, McAllister with Toasty DIY, and I'm doing a quick video over the core six person camping tent. It's the lighted tent. This one I got from Costco. You can also find it on Amazon. I'll have a link to that down below. It will be an affiliate link. will help us out if you use it. But I just thought I'd give you a quick tour of this. I set up in the office today to make sure that it still worked. And you know, out of the box, I don't want to take it out for the first time at the event, learn how to put it up, fail to do so, or find that there's a rip or tear. So I've got it set up here. I've got a time lapse I'll probably be playing right now to show you about it. And then we'll go ahead and go inside and talk about it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go inside the tent. It's got this nice little area for the rain fly. You get this special bar that pushes it up to the side, it hooks in via these little connectors right there. Uh, recommendation, push the tent back when you're putting those in. It can be a little bit difficult to get them on. Uh, initially, I felt like I was gonna rip the rain fly, so just make sure you push the tent back a little bit and the pole will move back and then you can slide it in there real easy. As far as the tent itself, it says it sleeps six people. Uh, in my case, I'm only gonna be sleeping two in here. I want a cot on this side and a cot on that side. And as far as standing room, I'm about 5'10", 5'11", I don't really know, but I could stand up right here in the center. However, there is a little slot here Kind of interesting thing, this little middle piece, let's see if I can get a shot of it, that you connect in through the top and that can screw in a light that they provide for you. So pretty cool little light. Takes three, I'm not sure what those kind of batteries are, but I know you'll probably recognize them from the shape of those. If you have three of those, you can plug it in and screw it in right into that center spot and then it should work fine for providing light inside the tent. I've not tried it out, I'd be curious to see how much it does, but I would imagine in most cases you'll have your phone and so that just does a good accessory light for if you're still awake and moving around and trying to find something that should do the deal. And if not, you can always unscrew it and bring it down with you if you needed it, if you forgot like a headlamp or something. So as far as getting in, here's our zip. Nice and easy, hasn't gotten caught in anything in the times that I've closed or opened it. You have a good space here in the middle. So like I said, caught on this side, you'll have a good distance from the rain fly. If you can spot that, let me check here. Yeah, you can see that. So a good distance from the rain fly here, so that way you're actually gonna get ventilation inside of here. We're using this at Bonnaroo, so it's gonna be a summer camping thing. I wouldn't take this out winter camping. I wouldn't take anything cheaper out winter camping because I don't know too much about it, but this tent right here online, I believe is about $124. That may have changed by the time this video posts. But if you go to Costco right now, if you have a membership, you can get it for around, I think it was 50 to 60, uh, or maybe, maybe it was 69, I think it was 69 bucks. So take a look at that. Really good deal for this. If you're gonna be going out somewhere this summer, this is a real cheap buy. It actually folds down to a pretty small size. I'll show that here. First time setting it up with a little bit of help took, I think, 10, 15 minutes, but doing it alone, I'm sure would take longer. Uh, we'll see how long the breakdown takes. That usually, in my opinion, takes longer to get it back in the box than it does to set it up. So we'll see how that goes. Hey there, sorry coming in from a different spot. My camera actually died during the filming of the time-lapse of putting it away, and I didn't notice till the end, and I didn't want to pull it all back out just to put it back away. I thought about playing the initial time-lapse in reverse, but I realized wouldn't be, that wouldn't be fair, so. Uh, it took about 15 minutes, and about nine minutes was spent just trying to get it all back in the container. Like, the actual breakdown, three minutes tops, you can get it done, especially if you have a friend, you'll knock it out. But the hard part is actually folding the tent. So I will sticky you note here that I can just quickly show you the way I folded it in case you get this tent. I think it'll make it a lot easier for you to put it away. Also, apologies for the mic quality, not using a DJI, since I'm just filming this real quick to get the video uploaded. So if you have your actual tent, gonna be laying flat like this. Let's see if I can't get the focus. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. It's all right. Uh, take your thing, fold one end, take your other end. Let's see, this one's a sticky note, so it's gonna be held to it. So take your other end, fold it in one time. Then fold your other side again, and then your other side over one last time. Make them fold together and meet. I tried doing all at once, and it just seemed to be too thick, so it was half fold, half fold, one more half fold on top of itself, and then roll. Just roll it down lengthwise, like that, and you should be good. So that's it. I'd recommend this tent to anybody who's looking at just like a cheap, nice, easy one, especially if you can get it from Costco. If you're looking at one online and you're going for a camping trip with some friends, you just want something easy, you can pull out, put away, and it'll have more than enough room for you and possibly an extra person to sleep. A hundred percent. If it's two people, easy, tons of room. Three people might get tight depending on gear and length of stay, but with how this bag works for it and everything, I'm assuming you're not taking it hiking, you're taking it out for maybe a sit on the campfire kind of weekend. And in that case, Excellent. I'm sure under the forest shade and trees would be great. I don't expect any tent to be amazing when it's sitting out in the middle of a field next to a bunch of cars at Bonnaroo, but 
I think it'll do fine for the case and scenario. I just need something tall enough that when we're changing outfits or needing to clean ourselves off a little bit from the partying, we have enough room and we're not worried about it. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check the description down below. I will have an affiliate link to a similar one. The one that is that linked down below will not have the screw in light from above. It'll actually have four, uh, two poles that go over and that little one for the awning, but it will not have that screw in light thing, which to be honest, is not a big deal. It's uh, I believe still gonna be clip. I don't think it's gonna be threaded through on the poles. So if you've set up any tent, you'll have no problem. And I think this brand's pretty good and I hope you liked it. So like I said, link down below. Thank you all for watching and take care. Peace.